Hello everyone and welcome back to the latest episode of Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. And uh, with Elvis, of course, uh, though he's sleeping at the moment. Again, after a long walk, he's he's pooped. So he's taking a little bit of a nap. But it'll be time for us to go out in a minute again after this. So I'm sure he'll suddenly regain his energy. Uh, so it's a Tuesday, of course, and it seems to be at the moment the only videos I'm making are the Tuesday tag or tag Tuesday videos. Uh, yeah, just quite busy really. Uh, but uh, there's a nice uh, original tag here from uh, Jim at uh, Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. Uh, he very kindly tagged me in it. And uh, it's it's a quite a nice nice one to do. So I thought, why not? I'll just uh, pop this one out there for you all. And uh, of course, I've tagged a few people in it as well. Uh, although he tagged quite a lot. So um, yeah, let's go. See, I'm all out of practice. You know, I can't even I can't even <laughs> speak properly uh, how to uh, how to do it. But I really need to make some other videos, and hopefully. Uh, I'll have time. I'll certainly have time next week because I have my uh, kind of spring break. So uh, that will be something I'll have to knuckle down and uh, get back into the, the video making. Right. Anyway, without further ado, this is the number tag uh, created by Jim. Jim's books, reading and stuff. Oh, I should have done the whole thing that he does. Sorry. Uh, right. So the questions or tags. Uh, first one. What was your first booktube video? The first booktube video I made was actually a review video because I was really um, a novice when it came to one making videos uh, on YouTube, but also to booktube. I wasn't one of these people that had watched booktube before deciding to make a video. In fact, I didn't even realize such a thing as booktube really existed in, in terms of, uh, you know, for people around my age and above. Um, so I just kind of made something and it was a review video of a Russian journal by John Steinbeck. And I realized after I made it that I didn't introduce myself properly. So I think then I made an introduction video and then I made another review video. And then finally someone suggested that I should do the newbie tag and that's the first time I came you know I discovered what tags were and uh, yeah I suppose the rest is the rest is history now uh, but yeah the first one was a review of a Russian journal by John Steinbeck which is a great book and uh, you should definitely read it next uh, how many books are you currently reading oh it's a tough one I mean officially on my Goodreads I think I'm reading two or three uh, though in reality it's close to six, probably. Um, you know, I have some that I'm reading uh, as buddy reads, so they're kind of now moved to the, the, the forefront of my reading, uh, whereas um, the others I'm kind of reading for fun, I just pick them up every now and again. So I'm in no big hurry. Uh, I'm just kind of pottering along with those. So I would say I think it's, I think it's around six uh, at the moment. Number three, what were the top three books you read last year? Very difficult, but I'm going to go with Lorna Doon uh, by R.D. Blackmore. There we go. I knew I'd get it. Uh, Mudbound and uh, A Sense of the... Mudbound, Hillary Jordan, I think. And A Sense of the World uh, by Jason Somebody. You can see I've really researched... Uh, Jason someone anyway uh, and it's a great book actually that one it's uh, it's a it's a non-fiction uh, it's uh, about a blind traveler uh, at the end of the uh, 18th uh, and early 19th century uh, and it's uh, yeah this blind man travels travels the world really and it's it's fascinating uh, but those three probably are my top top three books from from last year Number four, how many books did you read last year? Uh, I read 61 books. My target was quite low. I think it was around 30 something, uh, but I managed to get 61. That's because the previous year, I think I set myself a target of around 61, 62, 
and I failed. I only read maybe 40 something. Uh, I'm amazed when people read, you know, over 100 books. Uh, for me, 61 is really quite an achievement. I'm quite a slow reader, really. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, number five, how many books have you rated as five stars this year? Uh, I've rated five books five stars, actually, uh, so far this year. I'm quite generous, maybe. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of it, I don't like to think too much about, um, what's the word? I don't know. It, it, I rate very much on a feeling that I have from a book. So if I close and think, yeah, I really enjoyed that, then probably I'll give you five stars here. So, um, yeah, maybe I'm too kind. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to start being uh, a bit stricter when it comes to my rating. Number six, do you have a reading target for this year? Yes, I do. It's 50. Uh, and that uh, is followed on with, are you on track? Yes, I'm 12 down already this year. Some of them were very small books uh, or kind of long articles that were put into books. But yeah, I'm 12 down so far. So I think, hopefully, I should be all right. Number seven, how many pages long is the book you are reading now? Well, as I said, I'm reading about six. Uh, the average is probably between three and 400 pages. The two I'm reading um, in kind of group reads or, or buddy reads, uh, I think uh, King Arthur and His Knights by John Steinbeck is 320 pages, maybe something like that. And uh, I'm reading um, Thucydides uh, as well. And I received this in the post today to join uh, with my two comrades, uh, Stephanie Cohen and Vin at Revenant Reads, uh, who are reading this edition. Uh, it's the landmark edition. They advised I get it. Uh, so I did. And uh, I just got it, received it today. And it's 713 pages. Before I got it, I was reading the Oxford World Classics uh, edition, which actually was quite good. But this does seem, um, you know, very nice, especially, you know, with all the the, the annotations and maps and things in it. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to cracking on uh, with this. But as I say, that's 713 pages. Uh, next questions. How long are your videos? They're on average between 10 and 20 minutes. I think sometimes longer. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do rabbit on a bit. But generally over 10 minutes at least. Uh, do you have a favorite number? Uh, yeah, this is quite a difficult one for me because when I was growing up, I would say my favorite number was not the number four. Uh, but then after living in Asia for a few years and number four is considered to be uh, very unlucky uh, because of the sound. When you say the number four is uh, similar to the, 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 the sound or the, the, the word for death. Uh, so I kind of got, um, what's the word, influenced by that. And so I changed it. So I would say my favorite numbers now are three and eight. Eight being uh, in, in East Asia, China, Japan, etc. An extremely lucky number. And three, I think, uh, was lucky for me because it was the, my uh, shirt number or position uh, back in the days when I used to play rugby uh, in the front row. Tight head prop number three. So, yeah. And the last question... Um, do you have a book on your shelves with a number in the title or on the cover? Yes, I have a few. Uh, for example, Catch-22, Slaughterhouse-Five, The Three Musketeers, A Hundred Years of Solitude, 39 Steps, Around the World in 80 Days, and of course, anyone who knows me and knows this uh, channel, I have Three Men in a Boat. So there we go. Thanks, Jim, for creating this wonderful tag. Thank you very much for tagging me. I tag uh, the following people. Uh, obviously, you're under no obligation to do it. Uh, and uh, some of you may be very busy, of course. I see Michael uh, today as uh, Michael K. Vaughan, rather. Uh, congratulations to him. I think he's over 4,000 
uh, subscribers now and, I, and he's been doing this pretty much the same time as I've been doing. Uh, he's obviously doing something really right so I don't know uh, if he'll have time to do it but uh, I do tag him. I tag also uh, Vin from Revenant Reads, uh, Roz Scally Dangling about the books, Bill Rutenberg from the Rutenberg Library and Greg from another Bibliophile Reads and of course anyone else who watches this video and would like to do it. See, I just had to make sure that this video was over 10 minutes now after I said they're generally over 10 minutes. But I managed to waffle on uh, to, 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 to succeed in uh, getting the length that I needed. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all soon. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.